Birmingham, England has a love of green spaces. As well as having more canals than Venice, the city is also said to have more trees than Paris. With 571 parks compared to the 400 of the French capital, it certainly seems possible. The city's 2,400 acre Sutton Park is also one of Europe's largest urban parks. And Birmingham City Council estimates that there are approximately 6 million trees across all of its public spaces. Birmingham residents aren't afraid to create their own green spaces where the need or opportunity arises. This film explores one such example, a garden that is far more than just green. A mad idea. It leads to more mad ideas. <laughs> name's Patsy Wheel and Archer. It was um, a waste ground and uh, there was graffiti and everything on the, the bridge. Kept painting out the graffiti with black paint and then it come back again and kept doing it. Then all the different roadworks and that, they dumped their last bits of tar and concrete and bricks and stuff there. So we looked sort of really rough and I thought, no, nah, I've got to do something about it. And then the last straw, they started uh, fly tipping. People were leaving uh, mattresses and fridges and fridge freezers, all sorts of stuff. So I kept getting the councillors to take it away and then I decided I'm going to do something with it. So then I, I got my ex-husband as he is now. We had some odd cut, cut bits of wood and I made a design and he put it together and then painted it all different colours and that and put it out uh, really just to brighten the place up. And from there it was like I found coloured stones and paint, got these old rocks and painted them different colours to match the, the bench. Then I got another bench, painted that bright blue so it's right by the, the dark uh, bridge. And just got things to hang up, things that, you know, uh, butterflies and dragonflies. And there's, um, we've got um, two little uh, insect houses there and there's um, two bird boxes on the, the bridge. I think it's blue tits. They've fledged for the last three years. They've nested and fledged uh, chicks in there um, and I've put books out there for children and, and books for uh, adult people and or anybody who wants to sit and read a book or take a book. The other side we've only just got that because um, the roadworks had, had put loads of stuff there and couldn't get to it but then when they did the piping I could get to that so now that's just starting off to be another part of it and my plans for that is like a little picnic table or something eventually try to celebrate all the different events throughout the year, you know, Remembrance Day, we I put poppies all over the, the screen and uh, flag up and everything. And then like recently the World Cup, England and everything, and all the world flags were up. Um, and then like Easter time, I always put uh, Easter eggs out for the local children and they, they come running in the morning on the way to school and look for the Easter eggs and stuff. And little toys, I put toys out there as well. So the children absolutely love it. And to be honest, so do adults, they really do. You know, they're always saying, oh, love your little garden, love your little garden. Called it Rainbow Garden, didn't know what else to call it, but it's because there's so many colours, <laughs> why not? <laughs> so, um, and there's gold at the end of the rainbow, aren't there? So there you go. I haven't grown up yet. I'm, I don't intend to grow up either, so I'll always be a child. <laughs>